Uh, let's see another of the very well traded Brazilian stock, which is Vale. Vale here on the weekly. We have a target yeah, of uh, first of April. We did have a target. We saw a target. Yeah, so you see how great those weekly cycles stop. I mean, I'm not very familiar with the Brazilian market, so I don't know what happened over there. But it doesn't really matter what happens because uh, the cycle system projected the high. And this one continues down into June. All the way into June. And if you take a look at the daily, we see pretty much right on spot pretty much there. The same. Yeah. It so was, the daily uh, for for the fine tuning of uh, and the weekly is for the main. I guess I got an unstable internet connection here. Can you please repeat? It was uh, faulty. So I said the weekly cycles are for the major direction, and the daily cycle is for fine tuning, entry and exit points uh, of a stock market or a stock or whatever we're following. Very well. So based on the cycles, investors should be out of Vale, the ADR on the New York Stock Exchange at this moment. Yeah, they should have been out before, but we didn't show the cycle top. If, we, right. if they would have seen the cycle top, then uh, they would have gone out almost at the high. So no price target for Vale at this point? No, no price target. Okay, very well. Well, uh, we will be following the Brazilian stocks closer also with prices from the brazilian stocks traded in the bovespa in sao paulo not on the new york stock exchange uh, despite the fact that there's a very strong correlation between the stocks in new york and in the bovespa if you look at vale at the bovespa it has pretty much the same curve the same uh, uh, price action and uh, if the brazilian real do not go does not go really crazy around these days we might see the correlation stay correct but we will be soon uh, following the brazilian stocks on their nominal and local market very right. well i but guess remember, uh, we, we remember they could still see we we we, we went uh, we gave a sell signal at uh, i think around 580 and the target was 439 we hit the low of i think brazilian real on the real so after bounce we can still go down to 439 our, our long term can you price see price. can you see this chart of the brazilian real there or not really no i don't see it so let me share with you again uh it's right uh, here please let me know when you see it right here the brazilian real so the top was here at 570 the last one right yeah i think 577 and as you see the daily cycle look on the bottom of the right side bottoms around the third of may so there was a weekend in between so it could be that it's one or two days early and that's why we're having a bounce not because something sub substantial changed but just simple because the market uh, shows a, a cycle low on the third of May, and then we expect a bounce with no price target at this point, or we not yet, not yet, not yet. Um, this past uh, week, you have written that a close above four seventy seven would uh, lead way to a, a bounce. Right. It closed on four seventy eight around uh, Friday, so we could well, expect that's very, a, a that's bounce. That's very close, over. but that's very close, but. Um... Or it was two or three days early, the low, or it's going to try go one more time a little bit lower. But as you see here, that the uh, the bounce should be there for uh, I don't know maybe a week or two weeks, and uh, once it goes up a little bit more, then we get an, a price target and we know exactly where it's going before it turns down again. Okay, so it is safer for the subscribers to wait for the date, right? Well, the date, no, the, no, what I wrote is that around the 3rd of May, uh, we expect a daily low. And I said, if it closes above uh, 477, the bounce is starting. Now it's 478, so that's very close. So let's wait one more day and see uh, if, if the, the low came a couple of days early. 
or that or that 478 was the signal okay but the long term uh price is still 439 still that's still the long term target yeah okay which is about which we're expecting um that the the long term bottom won't come until november this year correct very well okay sure thank you very much again uh we'll be doing more updates on all the markets very soon uh i believe uh the folks from the s p 500 nasdaq and dow jones deserve a video real soon so let's try to do one very shortly for them okay we'll do that very well thank you very much have a good one you're welcome bye-bye bye-bye see you next time